so um, I am sitting outside the school waiting to school run and I thought I'd just send a very quick message. Um, I had a new buyer ask me about cleaning and acoustic work. So um, I think the best thing to do really guys is to, I'm going to give you a quick little instruction on how to clean your encaustic. Um, ideally you don't want to use any chemicals at all. Um, a lint free cloth is the way to go. Remove your rings, remove your bracelets, your watches, whatever it is that you have on your wrists and your fingers. And using a lint free cloth, or if you have them, a nylon stocking or a part of a, a tight, you know, not with a seamed toe, but like if you can get the leg of a tight in your hand, stretch your finger, and all you're going to do is you're not, you're not going to rub very hard. What you're going to do is you're going to buff buff across the entire surface of your encaustic work and that will remove any dust it'll remove any natural bloom that's appeared on the wax and it'll just freshen it all up for Christmas remember don't put them over a fireplace it's not that they'd melt but we wouldn't put any fine art over a fireplace or any heat source or indirect sunlight so um, what I'll do later on today is I will take out an old painting I'll get a stocking I'll do a little intro video I'll show you how I do it um, yeah and that's it so in your preps for Christmas with your new encaustics thank you to my buyers to uh, if you have older work of mine or other encaustic work or indeed any fine artwork dust it not with a feather duster and for encaustic a stocking or a free cloth okay so they'll be out in a few minutes and go and see you later bye hi I'm back so my life being what it is it has taken me this long to get back to you um to we were having a chat earlier on about cleaning and caustic now what I've done is I've taken out um a couple of encaustics that I've had for a while a very old small piece that actually has a little bit of damage on it that's been sitting in a pile for some time but you can see that's just not got the as much luminosity as you might expect with encaustic and this because this piece has been sitting out in my uh, home shed for a while here it is my nylon stocking now this actually is an unworn one but you can use um, I've already put my thumb through it. You can use um, a washed one, no problem, but a clean one is preferable, all right? I'm going to demonstrate in this small panel. I have a bigger panel and I have a newer piece I'm working on as well. But because this one is quite dirty, I thought it might be a good one to use as an example. So just before I get started, I want to get something to put between these pieces so I don't scratch the piece underneath because that would be really silly. I'm going to pop this on here. I like to, as I explained earlier, I take bracelets, rings, whatever off. I'm not going to use the seam of the toe or that part in my hand. I'm not going to scrunch it. I like a nice flat hand. I like to use this part of my hand here and I'm just going to buff. So I'm going to hold this piece flat. That might be a better view for you. And I'm just going to buff. So if you can see, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a section of this for you. I am being vigorous, but I'm not, I'm not getting in there with my fingers. I'm not gouging into the work. I'm making sure that this floats across the surface of the work. And what it does is it actually removes, light in here is not super, but you can see that has a much better shine in that section that I've cleaned here compared to say the red here which is much duller you know so this is how you do it so you take your piece off you rest it on a flat surface and you buff with a nylon cloth it's really very simple so there you go I'll just do one more demonstration on this larger piece sometimes and it's worth noting and it's worth recognizing the work you have prior to cleaning it sorry I'm in my uh, I'm, I'm in my slightly post-apocalyptic um, <laughs> studio space after having a couple of shows in the run it's been a really really busy couple of months thankfully and um, yeah things have been a little bit hectic so I don't want to show you around too much because I'd be mortified but the place is let me see yeah we're a bit dirty let's not yeah we're a bit mucky we're a bit all over the place but we don't worry about that 
the thing we're going to concentrate on cleaning right now is our encaustic. So this piece actually is what I call, this is a piece I have, this would have been maybe from one of the first series of works that I ever produced, you know, proper series of works that I ever produced in encaustic of this size. And this one is called um, Seeds of Hope and New Beginnings. And it's about that very thing. It's about starting afresh. This piece has an awful lot of cannibalised monotype set into the wax. That's something I do quite a lot. I still continue to this day to do that. There is a massive amount of texture in this piece, which is why I thought it might be a good piece. I'll lift that there. Maybe it might be easier. It's an incredibly heavy piece too. I have learned since to use lighter substrate. But we have an immense amount of texture in this piece. We have everything from paper, wax, we have point work, we have drip work. There's an awful lot going on in here and quite a lot of colour too. So again, as we showed earlier, I'll just tilt this. I'm just going to get, and again with the buff of my hand, I'm going to turn the stocking because I've cleaned another piece with it. Now all the colours are fused in. It's never really an issue, but I, you know, it's not an issue. Certainly I've had with my work, but I always encourage you that you'd use a fresh side for each painting. And I'm just going to get back in again with the pan of my hand. No nails. No rings, no jewellery, no watches. And the joy about this is I can get in to where those grooves are and just lift any dust out. And if there's any bloom on the wax, which is a natural thing that happens with beeswax as it ages, the bloom comes to the surface. It's like a dust type texture. I believe it's because there's natural polycarbon in the wax that comes to the surface with change of temperature and what I call curing of the product actually brings it to the surface. After you've had a project for maybe a year or more, a wax painting for a year or more, you shouldn't really see bloom on it unless you move it from one temperature to another. Or if you know, for argument's sake, you've had it in quite a warm room for a period of time, and then you take it in the car and you put it somewhere else. That change in temperature is enough to cause a bloom. But we'll do this about once every six months or so, just to make sure it's clean. If you have an older encaustic piece and you think it's very, very grubby, if you're sure that all your paper is encased or if there are paper elements in it, if you ensure that all those paper elements are actually encased in wax, you can use not a wet, but a, a damp cloth and you can just do a surface wipe with a damp cloth first, clean it, dry it, lint free cloth, and then again, come back in with your stocking and your flat hand. And let's just get some luster on that baby. It really is the most divine surface. It deserves to be treated well. There's no varnish on this. This is the natural luster of beeswax. And I'm going to leave you with a glimpse. Oops, stocking over it. I'm going to leave you with a glimpse of a wee commission I've been working on. A seascape. A seascape with text mark making and much of the things that I love about encaustic and in the way that I work with encaustic. We have papers in there, we have multi-layer wax, we have writing. A lot of acemic writing goes on in my work but again the texture is lush. This has not been buffed to date, this is still a work in progress. But there you go! Me and my little nylon hand are going to wave bye-bye. I hope that's been of some assistance to you all. I hope that has helped. So when you're doing your wee clean up for the Christmas, don't forget, polish them babies up, okay? And any questions on encaustic, feel free to talk to me, okay? NeveOConnorArtist.com. Take care. Bye.